guys. It is May May and her not so trusty sidekick. Oh, come on. I am still trustworthy. Gosh. Even though I'm a little ornery. I'm warning y'all, he's in a mood today, so I don't know how this show's going to go. Honestly, I don't know how this show's going to go anyway, because here's the deal. I've been snowed in at my house for most of the week, and so there was no prep for this today. As a matter of fact, poor old Tamba, they don't even know what we're doing, and she normally does a blog post for me. So it's like, here you go. <laughs> We're going to get it done, though. We're going to get it done. So we're going to do our regular crafter show today and then the crafter after show, which should be a lot of fun. I kind of want to do like a frequently asked questions in the crafter after show because we don't really have anything to show. And we don't really have, we have some, we have some paper and stuff to show. And we'll have some announcements and stuff, too. Yeah, we have, but I kind of want to just, um, we just need Happy Jack to show up sometime. There was a lot of questions. We get a lot of questions, and I thought that would be a great one. So if you're interested in doing a Q&A afterwards or if you have some questions for us about anything, um, be in the crafter after show. Okay. Well, not anything. I'm not going to tell them how to make paper or nothing or like that. Or how much you weigh. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't mind telling them that. I'm fat. <laughs> so you're not going to tell people how to make paper? No. Oh, man. All right. Today we are doing something that was inspired by something I saw at our Christmas village. And that's how long I've been wanting to do this video. So I thought, you know what? Didn't have anything planned. This is kind of something you can do super easy. And I wanted to show you how to do this. So... I saw one of those old ceiling tins. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? The ones for the, um, they were on the ceiling or sometimes on the wall back in the day and they were pretty and they were embossed. And usually they were silver. Um, usually they were probably just like a cast, I mean like a uh, aluminum of some okay. sort. Yeah. And sometimes they'd be painted. Well, this one booth took some of those ceiling tiles and they painted in between like the shapes, not not so much like, um, it almost looked like metal stained glass, but not exactly because it was very rugged. It very much had this feel, this kind of worn and rugged feel. But what was cool about it is the tile itself was kind of, it was just this right here. The tile itself was kind of this solid neutral color. And then they had these pastel colors in it. And I thought, how pretty would that be to do that with our embossing folders? Well, then Vince went and ordered this, which I fell in love with, this bunny, right? I'm like, that is so pretty and it's perfect for that technique. So this morning I came in and did a test. So this was my test run, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all how I did this. And then this one is also a test that was done a little bit different and I wanna show you how I did this. So let's get started. Um, dry embossing. This is the kind of embossing you do with embossing folders. Also, if you're interested in these folders, they're in our store at mamamadeit.com. We always fail to say that. Um, so I wanted to make sure I did. So. By the way, today's a very casual video, and I'm not prepped or nothing. Well. We go with that? Dr. Phil is here. Or is somebody already saying somebody it? Already we should, talking. like, have a sound effect for every time somebody says, is that Dr. Phil? We really How's should. How's that working for How's you? How's that working for you? Okay, so I'm going to so, use, this is just white Nina cardstock. No, this is not Nina. This may be from the trio pack. I just pulled this out of my stash. I'm not really sure. It does, I don't know. Well, I don't think it's from Nina because we, we don't have any, that honey, any time. car stock forever. So I just cut this to four by five and a quarter. So this is like A2 size card. But you could totally do this to any size card with embossing folders. It'd be super fun. And listen, I'm I am just taking my time. I don't know. I'm not I'm not very scripted today. Don't expect scripting, because you ain't gonna get it today. Well, you'll just get the real thing. That's right. right. This is real May May. Cuddle bug. You do and, understand that you have that sitting up there backwards already. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Do you know how many times I do that in a real video, too, and I have to edit it out? It's so frustrating. Well, today I took care of it for you. I'm going to open this dude up. Now, listen, it's going to wiggle when I do this because now that my cutting mat is not the whole size of my desk, it does that. Don't stress. I ain't going to stress. Some people are tired of me saying I'm not going to stress because they're like, you need to stress every now and then. <laughs> uh, sometimes you need to stress about something. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do the bunny. Do y'all care if I do the bunny? I'm going to do them both, but not fully. I don't have time to color them fully, but I'm going to do um, pretty good. So I'm kind of paying attention to where the bunny is on the page here. On my original one, I did a full four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I decided not to on this one because I liked having a little bit of the, um, a little border around it on my card. Well, did I? It's right beside you on your right. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here, Dr. Phil. I need you today. <laughs> well, Woo! I'll be available after the show. You're available after the show. I appreciate that. So here's the bunny. This is literally how I did the bunny. Literally. Here's Mr. Bunmeister. I love this bunny. 
Oh my gosh, the prettiest little bunny, right? Okay, then, um, uh, Connie, just for your basic information, there is no reason why we chose the cutter bug over the big shot, except for the fact that we don't have a big shot. <laughs> so totally it. I'm just not gonna buy one. Why? I have this one. I've had the cuddle bug since the cuddle bug released. Because I don't know if you know this, I've, I've always been kind of a big cricket fan. Well, sort of. Eh, I love this. I love it. I like it. I've used the Big Shot. My aunt has one, and they're fine. You can use it, too. Okay, for this one, I did something different. And let me show you the cardigan, because the cardigan, the cardigan, it's not, I'm not going to show you wow. my cardigan. You're just so in there today. <laughs> Well, I'd like to show you, but I've lost it already. What are you looking for? My rose card. What in the, how do I do this to myself? Oh, here it is. Don't worry. Just come look at this room and you'll know what it's like. Okay, see how this one has a lot more ruggedness inside the petals? I wanted to try something a little different on this one than I did the original. So here's what I did. Oh, some of you guys are going to freak out. Ready for this? Look, I quit. Who's the sassy one now? You have been sassy all I day. I it's been fun. All day. I'm squishing this dude. Here, squish it. Squish it real tight, Vinny. Go take this to your man and let him squish it so, so tight. Seriously, because, or to your car, run over it with your car tire. That's what I would do if I couldn't get it squished enough. I ain't afraid. All right, so then, the more you squish it, the better your thingies are. But listen, the better your lines are. But be careful, because this will tear. And I tore my first one, and you probably didn't notice it. But don't stress. Oh, it's torn. Don't stress. It's torn. I ain't stressing. Are you kidding? This is going to look beautiful. Look at this. Look at this gorgeous piece of cardstock. Are you freaking out yet? Uh, she's, she's stressing right now. I know some people are going to stress. All right. Open your um little embossing folder up. Lay your little piece of paper in there. Don't stress about it. It'll be pretty. Plus, it'll be homemade. You made it. And it'll be nice. And I'll go, you made this mess? <laughs> you made this mess? Yes, we did. All right. I did have to fidget. Look how I'm having to, like, fuss with it to get it in there good. Okay? So, there's that. I found it. Found it this time. You're the bomb. All right. Squish it through. Squish it through. I'm going to go forward. And I always typically do backwards. <laughs> Please hurry so she can breathe again. I love it. That really does bother some people. Some Look, they can't even watch. Come on, guys. Have faith. Have faith. It's going to be pretty. And if it's not, we tried something, right? All right. So there's Rose's. Look at it. It's not bad. We haven't killed it. No, I haven't cleaned these plates yet. Would you come clean them for me, Kathy? Would you just come in and just be my assistant? That'd be awesome. Okay. <laughs> now then... I just use a piece of old scrappy paper. I'll use this. Yeah, this will work. This is just some cardstock. Okay, let me do the bunny first. So here's what I did, okay? On the bunny, to me, this is important. You need to ink drag first. How many of you seen my ink, dra ink dragging before? Because, oh my gosh, ink dragging is the most fun thing I ever do. I promise. I could sit in my craft room and just do ink drag all day long. And that's where you run something through an embossing folder, right? And then you drag these little distress inks. And I have discovered that I enjoy distress ink better than any other ink because it's drier. And I like that. It's not quite as wet as the other ones. And for me, the wetter you get the page, the less... Um, embossing stays because you know when you get paper wet the fibers puff you okay. know so the wetter i get this the kind of flatter my embossing gets and i think that's why i like the distress ink so much but anyway i went with the vintage photo for this one because i wanted it to be kind of vintage and here's the thing okay you need to be pretty heavy here because this is what's going to give you your coloring lines basically you know and if you've never done this to me before i have so many videos on this because it's one of my very favorite things to do you just take the ink pad flat on the surface and drag. And wherever there's a raised surface, it picks up the ink. It's really pretty, isn't it? I love it. That's such a cool technique. As many times as I've seen you do it, it's still cool. But when you're doing it, you just can't help but keep doing it. Now, something else. I thought, I want lines going in both directions. And I got some going this way. So then I took my little ink pad and went the other direction. And I kind of went heavy to one side. You can't see what I'm doing. But I'm kind of going heavy to this side because I kind of want it to make a line. See how it did that little drag line? So I'm just going heavy and I'm kind of making like a wood panel situation. So when you say going heavy, you mean you're putting a little more pressure on one side. Yeah, I'm tilting. So here's flat and I'm tilting like yeah. that. 
to get that line in there like that. I think it's it's kind of cool to have those lines go across. So there's my bunny. Now you think I'm done, but I'm not. We're gonna come back for this, okay? So I'm gonna leave this one aside and show you what I did to the other one. On the other one, I used um, black soot, or as some people here say, suit, because <laughs> it's spelled S-O-O-T. You've never heard them in the back when they make a joke and they go black suit? They no, always, in the suit. packing and shipping department, they always come up with a different word for things, and it's hilarious to hear what they're saying, like... Well, that's because they can't pronounce nothing. Pistachio was what? P Pitachio? Pitachio? Or something like that? So funny. Black suet, drag across. Now, you're going to notice that this is going to pick up inside also a lot, because we did this whole wrinkle technique. That's, that's a technical technique, the wrinkle technique. And I liked it. I thought it was pretty. I thought it was cool. All right, don't put these away. You're going to need these again, okay? Um, then it's time to color. And let me show you just how difficult the coloring is. Are you mm. ready for this? I'm using this pack of colored pencils from our store. And the thing I like about them is they are triangular. <laughs> What's the deal with them? I don't know why it makes a difference, but it does. Have you seen these? Well, I mean, yeah, I've seen them. I mean, you've ordered them for us, but look. Yeah. They're triangular, so they're not going to roll off your work surface. Watch this. Check that out. If I did that with anything else, it'd be 52 pickup. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, they'd be everywhere. They're triangular, which I love, and I love that they fit in this. Why has no one made pencils like this for kids? They fit so perfect in this, like, thing we create. I love them. Okay, so here's what I did. Using my lines for my guide, I took this um, color pencil and, like, these little flowers... I wanted them to be yellow. So I just colored in yellow. And I'm coloring. Some of these people kill me. I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> Margie said, wow, my body has been doing that technique for years. I'm not old. I'm already. <laughs> there you go. What was the technique it's been doing? Wrinkled. Oh, the wrinkle technique? Yeah, me too. I'm doing that real well. And all the concealer in the world is not helping. Consider, consider dragging some ink over our face. Maybe that's what we should do and look distressed instead of stressed. Get it? Distress, which is apparently cool and modern. So see what the color does? It just kind of pops, and I love it. And um, you can get as heavy or as light as you want with your color. The lighter it is, the more subtle, clearly, the technique is. Like, I did this one pretty heavy. I did these pretty light, right? And then I'm going to do all of these little guys yellow. What I like to do is um, color one color before I go to the next. Now, you might be a person that wants to kind of start in one corner and go. But I like to get all my yellow done and then go back and do my next color. The other thing I did, because I thought the more color it had, the prettier it was against this kind of nasty, um, dirty looking ink, right? Is it fair to say nasty, dirty looking ink? It, I mean, you know what I'm saying? The more color you put against this distress, the prettier it is. So in the middle of these flowers, I just did some orange, just like little feathered out pieces of orange. Do I need to zoom you guys in? Y'all tell Vinny if I need you to, if I need to zoom in. No, I don't think they can see it all right. I mean, I'm looking at it. Okay. Um, and I'm just like around these centers. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way too. It's not dirty. You know, I know. I shouldn't say nasty, dirty looking. But you know what I mean? This pretty fresh color against this distressed cut. Yeah. So zoom in. Everybody likes to be up close when you color. Let's see how far we can zoom in with this here iPhone 10. <laughs> Look at this. Is that too zoomed? Is it too much? Thank you, Lynn. Look how messy. What did Lynn do? Did I miss something? She gave us a super chat. Lynn, thank you for your super chat. I want sound effects for when stuff happens. I know we did this the other day, but I think it's so fun. We need a bell for super chats. I want sound. Look one up on your phone. I'm serious. I want one. Maybe just use your sound effects on your, your use your ringtones. Use your ringtones. Try that. All right, let's see what <coughs> Okay. So I'm just doing these like little feather dealies. Y'all have to know as, as slow as I'm doing this, I'm not gonna color this whole thing in, but I am gonna show you how I did it. Okay, so I just add a little color in the middle, whatever, it's kind of cute, right? Then on the bunny, let's go up here. Is it too, did I ask if it was too close and not pay attention? It's um, pretty close. <laughs> is it too close? No, I think it's- I'll come back a little bit. How about- Because I mean, better? it's getting, even getting a little blurry, it looks like to me. Oh, is it? Okay, so in this ear, I wanted there to be a little pink. So here's what it, okay, let me warn you about watercolor. I saw somebody say that. Distress ink is gonna move with watercolor. That's why I'm not doing a wet technique. I'm glad you said that. Well, a couple of reasons why I'm not doing a wet technique. I don't wanna do a wet technique to make my embossing lay flat, and I don't wanna do water on my distress ink. Now you do you, try it out. 
I'm going to add a little faux uh, paint to his ear. Like it's not really laid in there, but I thought it would be cute to add some pink. And I'm going to come over here and pretend like this is the inside of his ear and add some pink. Now it can get a little frustrating coloring these because um, they're, especially this one is so kind of uh, drawn so differently. You know what I'm saying? Just take your time. Just kind of look around, decide what you want something to be. Like in some of these areas, I turned some stuff green that's probably not, but I don't really care, right? Um, I was like, I'm gonna make that green. His eyes gonna be blue because I think all bunnies should have blue eyes. Have I ever told y'all I want a bunny? Have I ever said this to you guys? Oh my Lord. You know, babe, I've already told you because I want, I want, I think they're called velveteen bunnies. They're absolutely gorgeous and I would love to have one, but I'm not gonna get one. I have dogs. All right, so like in here, I turned this green because I felt like that's probably some greenery and it worked. You know what I'm saying? Green works because green is such a natural color, okay? Um, I'm not gonna cover this whole thing because it will be here all day, but I want to show you some other things I did. Let me squish this down. Let me bring this up. Okay, so after I finished coloring, I'm gonna bring the finished product over here for you to see it. I decided, did you get a sound effect? I'm working on it. Okay, I decided that I wanted to do something else, and that was this. Once I had colored all of this, I kind of had gotten out of the lines and kind of overlapped the color onto the embossed lines, so I went back with my ink and I dragged it again, okay? So here's what I did. Because it just helped, I went back, and this time I dragged with a very heavy hand. And anywhere there was color, it just picked up on top of the, uh, it just made the color pop more. <laughs> Look at you, you're so funny. <laughs> How about that? That's funny. For the super chat, you get a. <laughs> yeah, you give a super chat and that's your, that's your one. It just made the color better. Then I did one more thing which I think really makes a difference. And where's it at? I put it up, I think. Here it is. Yeah. I took my Nouveau Glitter Gloss Brush, which I think is amazing. But if you have a wink, use a wink of Stella. That'll be fine. Okay. And anywhere it was a solid part, I went in with this brush and I colored with the glitter. And what it did was it took that Distress Ink and it darkened it, and it moved it, and it made those areas even prettier. Did you see what just happened there? Could you see that? Um, let's go to an area that's not so pretty. Okay, see this area is not totally covered. When I take this and I start playing, I'll do half of it. I start playing by moving that distress ink around. Look how much richer that bottom half is. And the more you drag from these darker spots, because distress ink moves with water, or with liquid, and this is a glitter liquid, it's just so pretty. And I'm gonna show you on the other card, uh, cause I'm doing this real sloppy. I even did these little pieces cause I thought they were cuter. It just really makes a difference. It's those little things, right, that make things pop. So I just did anywhere there was a solid line like that. And let me show you. Um, I'm gonna bring this up so you guys can see the glitter. These are always hard to see on camera, but I think this product does the best. Can you see it just there? Just a little shimmer. Just a little tiny bit. You can see it better. In person, I can see it better. It could be my lights, too. Let me see what happens if I turn this light off. See if it makes it better. Not at all. Made it worse. I think it needed the light. But you can see the glitter. Let's see if I can make it really show right here. Let's just see. It's wet. It may not show when it's wet. Oh, a little bit. There it is. Oh, there it is. Look. There you go. And you can see it everywhere I used it, and I love it. It just added, and I cut, and I really did his eye. I thought his eye needed to be real glittery. You pretty much see it. Now I gotta show you something. So when I was, I made this the full size, right? And then I wanted to trim it down. And I ripped the corner. And then I did these little angle cuts to try to make the corners match, and I didn't like it. So I went to my stash, and I got some ribbon and laid over it. Boom, covered it up, right? But I think it looks really cute. So there's the bunny, that's what I did. I'm gonna show you how I attached it to the card in a minute because I think it makes a difference. I'll show you that after we talk about this guy. So for this now, one, I did. What's that pen called? That is a um, Nouveau glitter gloss pen, brush pen. Okay, I did this one very much the same, and I suggest on one like this you start <coughs> with like your green. Okay, and anywhere you have a leaf, here's what I did. I went through and I did this pale coloring. I just took my green and did this sloppy, pale color. I'm not shading at this point. I'm just putting down 
some color in the areas, okay? So anywhere there would be green, this is green. For me, this helped um, because if I didn't do the green first, I would get going and accidentally color a petal, which I actually did, let me show you. So on this one, I accidentally colored this petal purple and then I went back over it with green and it turned teal. And you know, I don't love it. Every time I look at the card, I see that. Somebody else might not, but it drives me insane. Um, so anywhere there's green. <clears throat> and those colored pencils? They are by Sargent, Sargent Art. We have them in this kind and we also have them in the erasable kind, but the erasable ones aren't triangular, I don't think. So I want you to know that before you purchase them. The erasable ones are cool too, because I think you can highlight with them and shade with the eraser. All right, so I went through and colored in the green. Then once I had all the green done, I came back and I did some shading just by doing a darker color like underneath where the flower is, maybe darkened up the little tip of the um, flower, blah, blah, blah. Something like that. See, I came back and did the shading afterward, okay? And same thing with the flowers. Literally the same thing. Just went in, laid down some color, just a sloppy lay down of color, all on every petal, and then I came back and did my highlighting and stuff. It was fun. See how pale it is? Then when I come back and I do the, the shading, you'll see the petals kind of come to life. Now, after doing this, it was very important to drag again. You'll see as you're doing this, you start to overlap some of the lines and it just kind of blurs a little bit, but the second drag makes a big difference. And I not only did a second drag on this one, I went real heavy. I'll show you in the finished product. I took this and I just went heavy with it like this. And it was so pretty when I finished. Let me show you. See, I'm just scrubbing it. Once the color's in there, like, let me do this green leaf. You think I'm ruining it, right? Because I'm scrubbing so much. But look how the green stays in there and it gets that uh, rugged, rugged look. And I also decided I wanted this one to have some dimension. So I took my vintage photo and I went over it also. Now, this is going to grab inside, but see, there'll be, there's color in there, so it won't grab the same. But adding this just really made it all pop. Now, I did that already, okay? So I'm going to show you the finished product again because that's literally how I did this card. And you can even see some of the vintage photo in there. You can kind of tell that I did that. Zoom out a little bit more still. Okay. How about there? That's good. And then the stamps that I use, because I know somebody's gonna ask, because I thought this was so cute with this rose, is the one called um, Stitch Sentiments. And it's the stitch letters. It's really pretty, see all those? And I just loved it. I thought this just because, and I liked the white against that background so much. All right, let's talk about how you mount these to a card. Here's what I did. Anytime you emboss something, you end up with something like this, right? See how it's kind of warped? And also, the wetter I made this, the more um, unstable it became, the more, you know, kind of messy it became. So, here's what I did. I took a piece of foam. This is like, um, let me see. We carry it in the store. It's called foam sheets. And what I love about these is they are just the right size for this. Um, you can cut them down so easy. And let me cut this one down to be what we want. And I want to show you. Can I throw a question in while you're cutting? Yeah. Um, one person asked, uh, DD's Paperworks, do you recommend blending it with odorless mineral spirits too? I just don't do that stuff. I, they're, look at, that's like Gamsol or mineral spirits. And I just am not that person. I, I'm not in, I don't get that deep into things because I'm the person who likes like you know what I'm saying? So I've never, I'm going to make a confession here. I've never used a mineral spirit to blend color pencils. I typically use my color pencils to blend themselves or the Prisma color pencil blender. I love that thing. But I just, I don't get that. I don't get that detail. I, it's, it's sad, isn't it? I, I probably should get that detailed on stuff, but I just don't. Let me make a card base real quick. Um, but I know that like Lindsay, the Frigal Crafter, she uses it or either she makes her own version um, I know that there's, let's see, who else uses Gamsol? Is it Vicky Pompawano from, um, Cuts, Cut, Clips and Cuts? I think she used, maybe. And Amy Rasavi might use it. So there's a lot of people out there that do. So check out some of those channels that do. I, it's such, I know people probably think I'm so janky, but I'm this instant gratification person that I don't want to spend three hours on them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. 
So I'm that way about everything. Have, if you start spending that much time on it, you're going to get bored in the middle and it'll just be sitting there. Which it's really, it probably doesn't take that long or anything, but I'm not that detailed of a crafter. So what Gamsaw does is it blends your color pencil. It takes the wax, the waxy finish, and blends it. I typically, let me show you what I like to do because I'm kind of lazy like this. Let me show you. Pink and red. Oh, I won't do it on this one. Let me do it on the flower. Which I've hidden from myself again. Where'd it go? I'll show you on this. Well, I don't want to show you on what I've done already. Here it is. Okay. So on this flower, for example, I literally did this on this one. I put in some pink like this. These colors are not complimentary. They don't work together. Trust me. I did this though. And I'll show you and you'll see that I did. I put in some pink, put in some red. <coughs> Sorry guys. I'm still getting rid of that mess. Put some red around the edges like so. Okay. Then I went back with my pink and blended it. You know, it's kind of one of those use what you got kind of things. I guess because I've never been somebody that collect, I don't know. Like watercolor freaks me out, stuff like that. So that's how I did my blending. And I'll show you on the card again. I lit on the card again. Where's this coming from? I just blended all this stuff together kind of messy. I like it. I don't know. I say use what you want to use. And if you want to use gams, I'll go for it. If you want to blend them, do it. Also, I was real careful about the alcohol marker situation because I didn't want to, I, I mean, I was careful about liquid because I didn't want to flatten my stuff. Okay, so here's what I did because this really gets um, unwieldy and, and I could coat the back in foam tape and that would be fine, but I really wanted to save the foam tape. So here's what I did. I did two for one. I did this foam that matches, right? It's, it's pink foam that matches the bunny and I glued it all down and I got a much sturdier card much sturdier backing. It doesn't weigh anymore. And when I send this, it doesn't, doesn't add any weight. And when I send this in the mail, it'll be nice and sturdy. And the color of the foam does, does the work of a mat. See, it's the same thing I did here. And I glued it all together and I glued it with art glitter glue. And I know you're going to ask me, does that hold foam? This was done this morning. Oh, I don't want to mess it up with art glitter glue. See that? And, the, um, and I used black in this one cause I wanted it to not be, uh, too, contrasting if that makes sense and the thing about the foam for me was you'll see this when you when you beat up a piece of paper this much it really needs something to make it feel sturdy substantial again well i mean when you're just holding it it doesn't have its shape anymore yeah. it's all it's kind of feel warped it. in different ways you'll and, see what i'm talking about i mean I and it's know, wet i don't know how you could get that to stick down to this regular paper you can of the, you can but you'd have to use so much foam or so much adhesive behind it. You could do it, but it's just not the same. When you do this at home, you'll see what I mean. It just doesn't have the same, um, you don't think it's janky? <laughs> Thanks. Terrence, did I see that I'm going to get to meet you? Oh my gosh. I think I saw that I'm going to get to meet you and I just about flipped out. I think I even messaged the whole team and said, oh my gosh, I think we're going to meet Terrence in March. Because <laughs> I was being nosy about Is students Terrence ever coming. coming to I think so, but I'm not sure. So don't, I don't want to mess him up. Okay. So check this out. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. I was right. I sent out a message to the whole team. Oh my gosh, I think we're meeting Terrence. It was exciting. All right, guys, that's today's... Um, that's the thing. Yes, weakens the paper. I wish I was as smart as you guys. I just can't come up with words. <laughs> words elude me. Look, where'd that word come from? Um, but it does. And it you're turns a into a word nerd I know. too, so that's kind of strange. See what it does? It's just so much better glued to this foam. Okay, Connie asked a question about um, markers. Oh, she says, "What's hold on. the difference?" Or card or cardboard? Something with a little. Sorry, I just thought about that. Something with some body. Okay, go ahead. Connie asks, what's the difference between Nuvo Aqua Flow pens and the Nuvo Aqua Shimmer Glitter Gloss pen? The Aqua Flow pens are like watercolor pens. They have color in them. The glitter ones are typically um, a colored glitter with a with a uh, with a liquid to move them with a base. Does that make sense? But the Aqua the the ones are watercolor pens. I have those over there. Do you want to? Grab one. Do you need one of them to show it's a watercolor pen? You can't just say it's a watercolor well, pen? Well, it is. It's a watercolor pen. And y'all just know, y'all just know Vince wouldn't let me show you. It, it was his fault. Oh my. <laughs> it's right there. Look above the Spectrum Noir markers, above it in the package. 
Let me get up. Today on this card, I used the glitter one because all I wanted to do was move the distress ink around and glitter it at the same time. This one? Yes. No, 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 no. Up there in the very back. Yeah, today I used the glitter one. Ooh, can you not throw everything on the floor? Woman. <laughs> Me and these are the aqua flows. These are like watercolor. I have a video on these somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Here, I'll show you on this. Ah, uh, so pretty. So pretty. Aren't they gorgeous? And they move with water. Do I have a full water brush? I bet it's not got any water in it. It's empty. I would show y'all, but it's empty. Y'all think I could get Vince to go get I'm just kidding. I'm not going to make you go. <laughs> Okay. But you does, move this uh, with a water brush, and I don't have any water in here, so. Does glitter gloss come in one or two? Two packs. They're awesome. Listen, when you get the two pack, don't open both of them. There's no need. Open one, use it till it's dry, then open the other one. And when it's dry, open it up and add water to it. <laughs> use it as a water brush. Don't get rid of it. That's how I am, Vince. I'm telling you. Frugal, baby. Yeah. You're frugal. I've used a lot of this. It's so pretty in there. Look at the shimmer. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, there you go. You get two and don't open the second one. No reason to. Use the first one and then the second one because they're the same. And the prices are really good on it. That's what I like about them. You get two. I don't remember the price, but, our, but that's what I like about Nouveau. I think they're good. Also, look, when you're playing, you get these fingers. Isn't that nice? 31 minutes, guys. I think it's time to head into the Crafter After Show. But before we do, I want to say this. Please, when you make these, head over to our Facebook group, May May Made It and So Did I, and share with me what you've made. That group is so you can share what I inspire you to do. That's the whole reason we made the group. I want to see you guys making this. And by the way, they rocked the box cards. <coughs> they were everywhere. I loved it. So do that and show me what you make. And also... Go to our customer gallery on our website, maymaymadeit.com. Two for $8.99. That's such a deal. Um, go to the customer gallery under the more tab and share your projects. That's where we get so much inspiration. Are we doing a face after this? Are we going to see our faces? I think so. You'll see our faces. We're going to reset. We'll see you guys in a few minutes. Thanks for being here today. Love you guys. See you in a minute. Bye.